Hello folks, today I'd like to talk about five uh, positive things a spinal cord injury has given me. And then you might ask, wow, positive things, being paralyzed, really? Mm. But yeah, uh, I mentioned that in the last video and uh, I just would like to talk a little bit about it. Uh, I have made a, a list that are, there are actually a lot of things, but I'm just gonna talk about five. Maybe late in the week I make another video about it and then I talk about two more, three more, let's see. Okay, five things that spinal cord injury has taught me, okay? One, to be more patient. You know, I was completely without patience before my injury. You know, everything was supposed to be like right now and uh, I was on the automatic mode doing 20 things at the same time and stressed and uh, you know spinal cord injury boom there you go brother sit down and take things easy <laughs> and uh, right now it takes so much time to do not so much time but like if you compare before like you know it takes like more time to go to the toilet for example to have a shower to go out to drive a car everything takes more time and uh, you know you kind of are forced to have more patience with your life you know if you live with a spinal cord injury. and I must say being patient nowadays it's, uh, it's a good thing it's a great skill you know all right uh, number two I would like to say that I've become more aware you know uh, especially aware of death you know, I, you know, when you, you go through life and then you, you kind of think that, you know, things will never happen to you. You read the papers and uh, you see that someone got in a car crash and, you know, all this natural disaster stuff on TV and it's like, you never ever think, oh shit, that can happen to me. You know, you, you don't think of it like this way. And, uh, after my injury, I've got a sense that like uh, things do happen to you. <laughs> no shit happens all the time. And it's like you are mortal. You're gonna die soon. I'm sorry to tell you that, guys. But it's like you know, if you didn't know about it, yes, we are gonna be dead very soon. And uh, I've got this sense now, and you know, all that's like, wow, shit. I better do what I want. You know, I better stop <laughs> caring with other people thing, or I better. Tell that girl that I am, you know, I've got a crush on her or I better go to that trip that I want to go and read that book. And, you know, it's like uh, you become more aware of time and, uh, and things that you want to do. And this is actually not a very good skill that, has, uh, that spinal cord injury has. Like, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Give me. What I've learned from spinal cord injury, number three. Another thing that I'm grateful for a spinal cord injury is like because it has shown me who my friends are, you know. You know that <laughs> you've got like over a thousand friends on Facebook, right? Or two thousand friends on Instagram, I don't know. Anyway, you've got this sense that you've got a lot of friends. But I tell you something, folks. When shit happens, you don't have a lot of friends, you know, you do have friends but it's like, you know, you don't have over a thousand friends, sorry to tell you that you know, it looks cool on the Facebook, you know, oh, I've got two thousand friends fuck it, you've got five, you've got ten, max, you know, and if you have ten friends you're lucky, you're very lucky so it's like, uh, after my injury, I kind of like, you know, okay, cool, this these are my real friends, you know, this is uh, my buddies, you know, <laughs> kind of, you know, let's have fun kind of friends, you know, friends to grab a beer or to go out or, you know, weekend friends that you might have on your Facebook, 2000 of them, but real friends, no, my friend, we've got a few. <laughs> Okay, uh, skill number four. What is it, number four? 
Number four, it's like uh, it's spinal cord injury has put me in a position where I can help other people, you know. And I found it very meaningful, especially work-wise. Before my accident, I used to work in a bar and I used to DJ as well. I actually been working in bars for like eight years. I used to live in London and I used to I used to make money over the summertime and travel over the winter. And I did that like for eight years in a row. It's a great life, isn't it? Especially if you are twenties. I, mean, I did that throughout my twenties. Like you know, I, I was living the dream. It sounds very fun, isn't it? And uh, but it's like uh, in the end of every trip or in the end of uh, every every set, I was like, well, that was cool, but it's like you know, I was I was feeling you know that void inside. That's like there was something uh, missing, you know. And uh, after my injury, I got to work with uh, with kids that has disabilities. I've got to work with newly injured people as a mentor, and uh, I've got to work with accessibility a lot with accessibility. And it's like uh, it it's uh, this these jobs that I had, you know, it's like has given me so much like uh, sense of fulfillment you know that's like I am genuinely happy with it things that I didn't get any in any job I had before you know obviously that's like uh, you know I used to love to get people drunk and get people dancing but I guess to help uh, uh, a newly injury person be more independent it's 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 much more meaningful for me do you understand it's like you know i've got this life purpose now that's like you know i can help other people and and then i realized that's like uh, helping people you automatically help yourself you know if you want to be happy you should make others happy it's strange isn't it you know before i was just thinking about me 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 i want to go there do that Woohoo! And I've got this sense of uh, fulfillment, you know, that purpose that uh, I never had. It's amazing, really. If uh, if somebody if somebody would ask me, Rodrigo, would you go back and uh, be a bartender and travel the world and and be a DJ and uh, do the things that you were doing before your injury? You know, my life was very good back then, but I wouldn't go back. You know, I would say. No, thank you. I'm I'm fine now, and uh, I never imagined I would say something like that. It's like, but it, it's true. It's like you know, you you were putting somewhere that's like uh, you know, you, your life can uh, can have a whole new meaning now, and you can make it beautiful, and that's uh, that's really nice, I guess. <laughs> Yes. And the last thing I want to say, number five, it's uh, resilience. I have heard so many times, people actually told me that, that's like, wow, if I end up in a wheelchair, I would have to kill myself. <laughs> it sounds awful, isn't it? It sounds really bad. It's like, you know, people really think that's like, wow, if something happened to me, I don't know what to do. You are very strong. You are, uh, and then it's like, uh, just like, come on, man, shut up. It's like uh, we human beings, we are very adaptable species. You know, it's like uh, you have so much strength inside yourself that you cannot imagine. You know, you can go through so much more than you think you you can. That's like uh, I didn't know that I was full of fear and uh, regrets and like, you know, and then when I was put in, in a situation that I had no choice but like go through it, you know, I've become so strong, you know, I've, I have this sense of resilience nowadays that, you know, I am, I think I am able to deal with any kind of situation life throws me, you know. I am a strong, loving life motherfucker, <laughs> and that's fucking great, isn't it? It's like I'm not afraid of anything anymore, you know. And uh, I think this is 
this is also very beautiful. So there you have it. <laughs> Five positive things that Spinal Cord Angel has given me. I will talk about this uh, a little bit more in the future. I have a few videos to to uh, to record. I ask you guys, I asked you guys for for some questions, and I've got so many now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of it. Uh, so many, you guys are curious. Anyway, I will talk about this one more time because I think there are more things to talk about. You know, more positive things. You know, and uh, it's good to uh, to talk about positive things because if you are newly injury, if you just hurt yourself now, you know, you are in the darkness. I've been there. I know how it is. You know, you are feeling you are feeling like you know that your life has no meaning anymore, and that you know you're never gonna do the things you you wanted to do. You know, you see, you know. You cannot see a silver line right now, but I tell you something, it gets better, you know, things change and uh, you're gonna get positive things out of it too, you know, you're gonna get new possibilities and uh, new experience. Your life will be different, but it doesn't mean that it will be worse, it could be better, we never know. See you later guys, uh, have a beautiful week ahead, ciao!